Hi, I'm Sarah Waldich. I'm a physics major at the University of Maryland, and today I'm going to explain the physics of figure skating. Let's take a look at three common spins in figure skating. The scratch spin, the layback spin, and the cannonball spin. How can a figure skater accomplish each of these spins? Let's begin with a closer look at the scratch spin and the physics behind it. When a figure skater begins with their arms out, then pulls them in, the conservation of angular momentum explains why they are able to spin so fast. Let's break this down even further. Imagine you were driving in a perfect circle. Naturally, your velocity wants to move off of the circle, but your centripetal acceleration is pointed to the center of the circle. That is why you move along a curved path. The angular velocity is simply the change in the angle you created divided by the time it takes to create that angle. The angular momentum is this angular velocity times an object's mass. A few last things essential to know when understanding the physics of an ice skater is the moment of inertia and the torque. The moment of inertia depends on the amount of mass distributed about a rotational axis. Torque is the rate at which the angular momentum changes. With no external torque, the angular momentum is constant and does not change. Okay, so how does this relate to the figure skater? In the scratch bin position, I start with my arms out. My moment of inertia is greater since my mass is distributed in a larger area while my torque is relatively small. When I pull my arms in, my moment of inertia decreases since my area of mass is smaller. The angular momentum is always conserved. So to match my initial momentum, my angular velocity must increase. This creates torque on the system. However, when I do my layback spin, my hips are pushed forward and my arms are out. How do I maintain my spin that way? My moment of inertia is much greater, so I spin slower than I do in the scratch spin. I'm able to maintain my spin by creating angular momentum when I first push into the spin. I then push my right arm back and allow for my momentum to continue. And I push my hips forward so I can lean forward. Lastly, when I do a cannonball spin, I start in an upright position where my moment of inertia is greatest. Once I transition to the cannonball position, my moment of inertia is significantly smaller, so I spin much faster. I think that just about explains everything. Thanks for watching.